Today, we're stepping into the epicenter of a cyberstorm that has the power to reshape our digital landscape. As we brace to unravel the complexity of a monumental software monitoring platform breach, make sure you subscribe for a deep dive into the most gripping cyber tales of our time. Get ready for a journey into the heart of a cyber catastrophe that's closer to home than you might think. But before we go any further, my name is Alex, your guide behind Halitex. With over 15 years in cybersecurity, I've tackled digital threats in various capacities, from small businesses to large corporations. My passion lies in understanding and communicating the evolving landscape of cyber threats to people like you. If you're seeking an unbiased professional opinion on cybersecurity matters, do not hesitate to reach out. Join me as we explore the critical world of digital security together. In a world powered by technology, a software monitoring platform sits at the central hub of critical networks. This platform is entrusted by the world's leading organizations. But in the shadows of this digital landscape, a sophisticated plot was being hatched. Cyber attackers armed with advanced skills and malicious intent targeted the seemingly impenetrable software monitoring platform. Their method was as scanny as it was simple. They infiltrated the platform's update mechanism, embedding a tiny malicious code. This corrupted updates like a whisper in the wind. It spread across networks worldwide. It settled silently in the system, creating hidden backdoors. The breach was massive, yet invisible affecting critical infrastructure, government agency, and large corporations. Let's take a moment to visually break down the attack. These graphics will guide us through the intricate steps of how this unprecedented breach occurred. Here we have a basic network diagram. The monitoring software is represented at the center, connected to various organizations' networks. The attackers first infiltrated the main update mechanism. As you can see on the screen, they embedded malicious code into a legitimate software update. Watch as the tainted update is distributed. Each line represents the spread of the update to different organizations. Once the update is installed, malware activates. It creates a backdoor for the attackers. As you can see, unauthorized pathways start emerging in the network. Now, we focus on how the data was extracted. These highlighted paths represent the routes the attackers used to move data from the infected networks to their own servers. This process was slow and stealthy, making it very hard to detect. As we dissect each stage with this graphic, it's clear how sophisticated and covert this attack was. It wasn't just about breaching the network, it was also about remaining undetected for as long as possible. These visuals also give us a better grasp of the complexity and severity of this breach. Understanding this also helps us in formulating stronger defenses against such sophisticated attacks. Turning our attention to prevention, let's discuss how the breach could have been avoided. It's important to learn from such incidents to strengthen our defenses against future cyber attacks. The breach exploited the software update process. Implementing stringent checks for each update, especially those involving critical infrastructure, could have helped. This involves validating and verifying updates before they are distributed. Continuous monitoring of network activity could have detected unusual data flows. Advanced anomaly detection systems can alert administrators to suspicious behavior, potentially catching malicious activity early on. Limiting access within the network can contain any breach. If the malware had less access, its impact would have been minimized. Network segmentation and stricter access controls are key. Regular, comprehensive security audits of IT infrastructure, including third-party software, can uncover vulnerabilities. 
This proactive approach is crucial in identifying potential weaknesses. Educating all stakeholders about the latest cyber threats and best practices is vital. This including training on recognizing and reporting potential cybersecurity issues. Adopting a zero trust security model where trust is never assumed and verification is required from everyone attempting to access resources in the network. This could have added an extra layer of security. The bridge highlights the needs for comprehensive vendor risk management, regularly assessing the security posture of all vendors, especially those ones with network access is essential. Preventing such sophisticated attacks requires a multi-layer approach. It's about combining technology, processes, and people to create a robust defense against evolving cyber threats. By learning from incidents like this one, we can fortify our network against future intrusions. The bridge came to light when anomalies were detected by vigilant cybersecurity experts. The extent of the intrusion was staggering, a chilly reminder of our digital vulnerabilities. The repercussions were immediate and far-reaching. Trust in digital infrastructure was shaken. The breach wasn't just about theft. It was a violation of digital sovereignty, impacting national security and corporate integrity. This event came as a wake-up call, sparking global discussions on cybersecurity. It also emphasized the need for more robust defenses, continuous monitoring, and a proactive approach to digital threats. For more eye-opening cyber narratives, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, share your thoughts on this story, and stay with us as we continue to explore the hidden battles of the digital world. Until next time, keep your data safe and curiosity alive.